how to fix your PS5 controller not connecting to your PC. So if you're having any kind of connection issues when trying to connect your PS5 controller, then I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can go and fix this issue. Now the first thing you need to do is just click on your start menu on your computer. You then need to search for the word settings and click on this window here. Over in the left hand side, we're going to start by clicking Windows Update. Click on the blue check for updates button and just ensure you're running the latest version of Windows for your computer. So if you do see any updates here, then make sure to install these as sometimes outdated software can actually cause compatibility issues. Now, once you've done that, we need to select Bluetooth and devices from the left hand side. And obviously make sure your Bluetooth is turned on like so. You can then click on devices. And if you've previously connected your PS5 controller in the past, then the first thing I'd recommend doing is just forgetting that device. Now I don't have my controller connected, but if you do, you can just click on the drop down arrow next to it and you can go and press remove to remove the controller. Once you've done that, we're going to click on add device. And now before we click on this Bluetooth button, we need to ensure that other Bluetooth devices in the area are turned off and disabled. So if you have Bluetooth on your phone or any other laptops or computers that are near your controller, make sure all of these are turned off first. And also you need to make sure your PS5 console, make sure that's also turned off as sometimes you can get the issue where the controller is trying to connect to another device that's not your computer. So once you've turned off Bluetooth on all your other devices, you can come over to your PS5 controller and we're going to press down the PlayStation button in the middle here and also the share button in the top left hand side. And you need to hold down these buttons together for around about 10 seconds and you can just keep holding them down until you see a blue flashing light. So when you see the blue flashing light, this indicates that the device is in pairing mode. So as soon as you see this, you can click on Bluetooth on your computer and then you should see your wireless controller from the list. You can go and click on it and it should automatically connect. Now, if it doesn't connect the first time or it switches to not connected like this, then you can just close out of this window and then you just need to go through the steps again. So I'm going to click on add device, click on Bluetooth, make sure the controller is in pairing mode. And then once the controller is in pairing mode, you should be able to see it from the list and then you should be able to connect to your controller. Now, if you've tried all of these steps so far and it's still not working, then we're actually going to try resetting the controller itself. Now, how you do that is if you just turn your controller onto its back like so, you'll see this small pinhole and this is the reset button. So you can use something like a paper clip or something to stick inside here and you just need to hold down this button for 10 seconds. Once you've held this down, that will go and reset the controller and then you can just go through these steps again to set up the connection. So it's really as simple as that guys let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful